whenever we need to construct a residential structure the main things we need to focus on are the depth of the foundation and the size of the columns if we don't excavate the foundation to a sufficient depth or if we don't provide the adequate size of the columns required for a particular number of stories the structure would be prone to failure hence it becomes necessary to decide the size of the columns as per the number of floors to be constructed in a building structure the column is an important component of a building structure the main function of it is to transfer the loads from superstructure to the foundation as per is 13920 the width to depth ratio of a column should be greater than or equal to 0.4 and the minimum dimension of the member shall not be less than 200 mm however in frames that have beams with a center to center span exceeding 5 meter or columns of unsupported length exceeding 4 meter The shortest dimension of the column shall not be less than 300 mm. In this lecture, I am going to discuss how to decide the size of a column for a residential building. The size of a column depends on its ultimate axial load carrying capacity and the grades of concrete and steel used to cast the element. Before proceeding further, we must know what is area of steel, the area of concrete and what is gross area. By the term area of steel we mean the total area of cross section of all the steel bars provided in a section for illustration if we have a column of size 230 into 230 mm provided with four number of 10 mm steel bars the area of steel for this column will be equal to four times the area of cross section of each bar or simply four times pi by 4 d square the gross area is the total area of this section including the area of steel and The area of concrete is the area of this section excluding the area of steel. Now coming to the main topic suppose we need to find out the dimensions of a column carrying an ultimate axial load of 950 kN and the grades of concrete and steel used for casting this member are M20 and FE415 respectively. The first step is to determine the area of steel and the area of concrete in terms of gross area. As per the IS code The area of steel for a section should be taken from 0.8% to 6% of the gross area. However, the maximum area can be restricted to 4% of the gross area to avoid the congestion of reinforcement while concreting. Let's assume the area of steel equal to 1% of gross area or ASC will be equal to 1% of AG. As we know, gross area is equal to area of steel plus area of concrete or AG will be equal to ASC plus AC. On simplifying further, AC will be equal to 99% of AG or 0.99 AG. As per IS 456 2000, the gross area is calculated by using the formula PU equal to 0.4 FCK AC plus 0.67 FY ASC, where PU is the ultimate axial load which is already given as 950 kN, which will be equal to 950 into 10 raised power 3 Newton. FCK is the characteristic compressive strength of concrete as we know for M20 grade of concrete FCK will be 20 newton the area of concrete that is AC is already calculated as 0.99 AG FY for FE415 will be equal to 415 newton per mm square the area of steel is 0.01 AG on substituting these values AG will be calculated as 88785 mm square The last step will be to assume the shape of column. For a square shaped column, the side of column will be equal to square root of gross area, which will be equal to square root of 88785 equal to 297 mm, or we can take it as 300 mm. Hence the size of column will be 300 mm into 300 mm. The width to depth ratio will be equal to 300 by 300, which will be equal to 1, which is greater than 0.4. Hence the assumed cross section will be a safe cross section as per the codal provision for a circular cross section area of column is given by pi by 4 d square while area is already calculated as 88785 on substituting these values the diameter will be equal to 336 mm or we can take it as 340 mm hence if we consider a circular cross section for this column the diameter will be 340 mm This is an overview of the PDF in which I have included the various topics like basic knowledge for civil engineers, footing quantity calculation, footing PCC quantity calculation, neck column quantity calculation, basics of bar bending schedule, and AC blocks versus red bricks.
If you want to download this PDF, I will provide the link in the description box of this video. So this was all about this lecture. If you like my content, please subscribe my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you don't miss any updates in future. Thank you.